Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. I wanted to kind of come back and added uh, maybe one or two kind of bonus videos to this course with little things that I um, probably have, have in many cases touched on but um, didn't really go into explicitly. And in this tutorial, I just want to mention that postfix and prefix increment and, decre and, and decrement operators. We've seen that if you've got, uh, let's say, uh, an integer like this, well, it has to be an integer, really, or some kind of integer type. Let's set that to 8. We can, we can type stuff like value plus plus. Uh, that's, the, that's called the postfix increment operator. And then we can do C out value like this. So if, if we run this, of course, we get 9. Okay, we've got to build it first. That would probably help. So um, this, this isn't any, anything unexpected. We've seen this before. It's pretty simple. And we get 9. Uh, but we can also use this in prefix form. So that was postfix. But we can also type this, prefix. Whoops. So if we run this, once again, we get 9. And the same is true of the... Um, of the decrement operator, we can type this to decrement, decrease the value of value by 1, so now it's 7. And that also exists in a prefix form like this, which will also give us 7. So what's the difference between prefix and postfix? Well, the answer is that if you have an expression, let's, um, well, here, here for example, we, we do have an expression uh, with Postfix, the value is going to be used uh, and then incremented. With prefix, it's incremented and then used. So if we look at this now, what we're going to get is 8. So we see that's 8. That's because it used the value and then incremented it. If we did this, on the other hand, it's going to increment the value and then use it. So now we actually see 9. And with this version, it was actually incremented. So if we output this again now, then you can see that it was incremented. So the second one's going to be 9 here. It's just that on the first one, because it's postfix, it used the value and then it incremented it, whereas prefix would increment it and then use it. So you can see exp expressions um, like, for example, int uh, number equals uh, value plus plus. And let's do C out on number. So what's what's value going to be here? So we see that uh, we incremented value. It started off at 8. We incremented it so it was 9. And we output 9 here to confirm that. So now, uh, can you guess what this, what this is going to be? Well, let's, let's see if your guess is right. It's actually going to be still 9. But of course, if we... If we um, if we did a prefix version here, so it, it has incremented value. If, if we actually output value here, let's, let's output value and let's also say value is now, and let's say here number is, so value has been incremented to 10, but um, so here it's 10 you see, but number is 9 because it's postfix and we actually used it before incrementing it. But if we, if we use prefix, then we're going to increment it and use it. So now number and value are going to be the same. They're going to end up the same, both as 10. So that's really important to know. And sometimes some people use prefix and pro pro postfix in really complicated expressions. And uh, it, it can get really con confusing. It's important to know about it. But it really, um, the majority of the time, in my view, unless you really need it, it's better not to rely on prefix and postfix. Uh, it's, it's better to, um, to try to make your expressions a bit simpler, but people do use it in expressions, so it is important to know about it. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Until next time, happy coding.